Well, the rise of artificial intelligence is generating a lot of buzz. Medical researchers are showing how the technology can help one paralyzed man regain some of his mobility. Chris DeMeo shares the moment the patient experienced his first touch. A diving accident three years ago broke Keith Thomas's neck, leaving the New Yorker paralyzed from the chest down, robbing him of much of his independence. It has left him without the ability to move his arms and his hands, uh, without the ability to walk. But thanks to a revolutionary new study from Northwell Health, Thomas has regained some movement and sensation in one of his arms and hands. During a 15-hour operation back in March, surgeons implanted five microchips into Thomas's brain. After recovering, researchers connected the chips in Thomas's brain to a computer armed with artificial intelligence. Our goal in this clinical study was to uh, reconnect the brain electronically uh, to the body and also the spinal cord to promote what we call plasticity. And the goal was to have lasting movements and sensations. The AI technology is able to interpret Thomas's thoughts and translates them into movements and feelings. We're basically using a computer to read Keith's thoughts and then translate that into a machine that then stimulates his hand so that he can move it. And it goes the other direction as well, where when he feels something, instead of it passing through the normal pathway through the spinal cord, it is going into a computer. So it's almost like fooling uh, the nervous system to make it work. And one of the first things Thomas felt since his accident was his sister's touch. That was Chris DeMeo reporting. Thomas still has a long ways to go, but with a lot of practice, he's already increased the strength in his arms.